Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here, and this is a review for the EarRise Shockproof Portable Bluetooth Speaker, model number T15. You'll receive the speaker, a microphone, 6.5 foot XLR to 1 8 inch cable, 30 inch micro USB cable, and an instruction manual. The speaker housing is made from a lightweight hollow plastic shell, and weighs about 2 pounds. It's 8 inches wide, 11 inches tall, and 5 inches thick. On the bottom are 4 rubber feet to keep the speaker stable on flat surfaces. And on the front you have the main 4 inch 9 watt driver, and a lighted control panel. Taking a closer look at the controls, you have the power switch, micro USB power port, status LED, and mic input port. Also a micro SD card slot, full size USB input port, and aux in port. The buttons on the front are mode, repeat, light, play pause, and previous and next track. The dial in the middle controls the volume. To charge the 2400 mAh internal battery, just plug the USB cable into the speaker and connect it to any powered USB port. Note that a wall power adapter is not included. On a full charge, the speaker can play continuously for 5 hours at max volume, and it takes just about as long to fully charge. However, you can use the speaker while it is charging. When you switch the speaker on, it enters Bluetooth pairing mode by default. On your mobile device, select the EarRise T15 device in the Bluetooth menu to connect with the speaker. It will beep once when connected. Now you can stream music wirelessly to the speaker. In Bluetooth mode, the speaker volume can be adjusted via the dial on the speaker and from the transmitting device, so make sure to check both these settings if you aren't hearing any sound output. You can pause the music using the play pause button, or skip tracks forward and back in a playlist with the buttons on the speaker. You can also play music stored on a USB drive or micro SD card by simply plugging these media in. Though you can only use one input source at a time between the Bluetooth, USB, SD, and aux in. When you plug in physical media with MP3 files stored on it, the speaker will switch modes and start playing automatically. When playing from USB or an SD card, if you press and hold the repeat button, the speaker will repeat the last track played until you exit repeat mode by short pressing the repeat button. The sound output from the speaker is clear, crisp, and can be turned up quite loud. I was actually quite pleased and impressed with the sound quality, because it's pretty well balanced and was really clean overall, though it doesn't have any sort of subwoofer to really bring out the bass. Pressing the mode button switches to FM radio mode. You know, the framers have lived under a king. They were very aware of the inherent danger of locating... You can browse saved stations by pressing the next and previous track buttons. To find and save new stations in your area, press and hold the play pause button. The speaker will scan the airwaves and save as presets any strong signals that it finds, while skipping most staticky and weak signals. This process takes about 2 minutes to complete. The light button changes the color of the flashing LEDs to blue, or red, which doesn't feature the center light, off, or the default purple. The mic measures 8 inches long, and you'll want to sing directly into the top and not into the sides. To use the mic, connect the XLR cable to the bottom of the microphone, switch the mic on, and plug the cable into the mic port on the speaker. 
Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here, and this is the Earize Bluetooth portable speaker, which I am using as a PA system right now. So as you just heard, you can use the speaker as a PA system when there's no other audio input coming out of it. The sound pickup from the microphone is mono, so it's a single track only, but when projected from the speaker, it's actually pretty loud, and it would probably work great at an event or a party as a PA system or loudspeaker. If you play music on the speaker at the same time, you can talk or sing over it using the mic, just like a karaoke machine. However, you won't be able to independently adjust the volume of the microphone versus the volume of the music. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Make the Yuletide game. Overall, this speaker is a really nice value and performs well as a budget Bluetooth speaker for amplifying music from a mobile device, listening to the radio, or playing from USB, microSD, or aux input. While you won't get a true stereo experience out of it, or heavy bass beats, and the light show isn't that impressive. The microphone input makes it perfect for both PA use and karaoke. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join me next time.